Hey guys, welcome to my channel. It's Julia, AKA The Mug Life. If you're brand new to my channel, I'm really glad to have you. And if you can't tell by maybe the wardrobe or the thumbnail or video title, I am doing a Harry Potter Halloween. Um, this is a collab that I'm doing with my friend Kiki DIY, so I'll have her channel linked down below. And hopefully you'll get some inspiration for some really cool and fun Harry Potter um, theme decor. This is actually a little bit of a throwback for me as I did a baby shower Harry Potter, which was so much fun to throw. So this decoration could be for anything that you desire, especially if you love all things Harry Potter and of the Wizarding World. Get right into it. I hope you guys will enjoy this video and get some inspiration for yourself. And the first Harry Potter DIY that we're going to start with is the potions making textbook. This is from a website that I found from Pinterest. A uh, link that I will have in the description. It, and I just love the artwork. I thought it was so amazing and so creative. So I just printed out that potions making page. And then I decided to age it up a little bit and use my ink stamping pads from Jim Holtz. And I crinkled the paper a little bit. There are a couple of different ways that you could age the, the paper. You could use coffee. Um, anything and everything. And because I wanted to make a slip cover, I'm just gluing the bottom. And then I slipped my book that I had into the case that I made. Now jumping into the second project, I'm actually going to be making the Leaky Cauldron sign from Diagon Alley. I actually was originally going to um, print off a silhouette of the witch in the cauldron, but, um, I actually just happened to see this little wooden piece at the Dollar Tree, um, one that I had visited that I'd never been to before. So if you happen to pick this up, this would be perfect for it. Or if you want to originally do what I do, just take a cardboard box, print off a silhouette just that you can find off of Google Images, and trace that onto your box. And that would work perfectly well. Now I did use um, a few of my bamboo skewers. These were the large ones from Walmart or Dollar Tree for roasting marshmallows. I kept them with my pliers and hot glued the bottom off to the side and then the top to make the entire sign. I did glue an extra piece off to the side just to reinforce the witch's back to the side of the sign. And I feel like I always do this to myself. I never think about it till after the fact. You should definitely paint the skewers before you start gluing. I did not think of that and it was more trouble for me to paint after I had glued the entire sign together. So word of the wise, paint your skewers or cardboard pieces that you cut out first, then attach them to your sign. Now what I'm doing on the back side of my sign is just adding a little bit more glue and reinforcing it with a couple of my cut bamboo skewers just so that my witchin and the cauldron will just stand up a little bit more and I also attach that little sidebar that I told you about later on just to the back side. Now to create my rusted and aged um, leaky cauldron sign I use my trusted Mod Podge and just put it in a few pieces. Uh, areas that I wanted it to be and then I sprinkled my cinnamon all around. Now if you didn't want to use cinnamon on it, you could also use um, paint if you had a couple of different colors. Um, a really nice and close color for rust that I really like to use is burnt sienna or you could use a burnt umber if you didn't want quite so much of an orange rust color. Now I didn't want my sign to look exact or anything. I wanted it to have a little bit of my own flair. So I took one of my pieces of cardboard and cut a little bit of a scroll piece for the top edge. And like again, I did not paint it first. I went ahead and glued it onto the top of my sign and painted second. And for my last DIY project, if you're as obsessed with banners as I am, this is your go-to. This would also be really, really adorable 
in a little kids room or a nursery if that's what you are decorating for or a really fun party i wanted it right below my leaky cauldron sign so i decided i wanted to do a sorting hat with the four houses of hogwarts so i took some felt that i had actually just bought you could also use paper you could use cardstock you could use fabric pretty much whatever you have on hand and i just made a cardboard template and cut it out on all sides and because my felt is a thin piece i decided to use the whole piece and fold it over so you'll kind of see what i'm doing i'm just starting to lay out what i wanted grabbed my twine cut it there's no rhyme or reason once i cut the bottom part of my felt banner i just placed my string right on the middle and then i grabbed my hot glue gun not quite sure if that was the best idea with the felt i've actually never used felt in crafting before so let me know if there's a better option maybe a spray adhesive or sewn possibly would have been a really cute option um but this is what i used and then i just pressed it down and even hot glued my um house uh what are these called these are called shields or i'm guys i'm a loss of work for words tonight so if you guys can even tell me what these little house symbols shields whatever we call them are called and i just glued them on i will have a link to the pinterest page um that i printed these out from i have pretty much all of my projects also on my pinterest if you guys are pinterest followers like myself now here is my sorting hat i just needed one so it would actually be more cost effective if you printed one off yourself. I love using cardboard. I use it in a lot of my projects, um, but this, I, I picked it up the same time I found my leaky cauldron sign at the Dollar Tree. I just went ahead and grabbed it. It is the little wooden die cuts. Um, and then I just drew as close of an image of the sorting hat on my little wooden decal. This I wanted to be in the very middle of my banner between my four houses that it kind of gave off the vibe that the sorting hat still had to decide which house you would go to. And here is my little corner of my house that I have decorated with my Harry Potter decorations. I am super excited. I think my sorting hat with the four Hogwarts houses turned out super awesome. I'm excited about the banners, even if it wasn't perfect. I think they turned out really fun um, and definitely unique. And here is the leaky cauldron sign. It's <laughs> better than I thought it would turn out. I really love the age and rusted effect of it. And here is my last little book cover. Now you can see right here, the two potions, the work cap powder and another one that I have and you can see closely um, the project. I don't know what happened to the recording. So I will be creating this for you in another Harry Potter to be continued video. If you have any other requests of some Harry Potter themed ideas that you would really like to see me do, please let me know down below. And I would love to make some really fun and exciting Harry Potter decorations for you. Thanks for watching. I really hope you guys will subscribe, comment, you name it down below and I'll see you next time.